I'd like to thank you, Eusebio, for inviting me to write an article for the Journal of the Mexican Chemical Society, which I recently did on Ernest Elil's experiences, adventures, and commitment to Latin American chemistry, in particular to Mexican chemistry. So I know that there are many wonderful people, many wonderful chemists who are Mexicans. Would you please share with me uh, how, one, how nice it is to interact with Americans as we have enjoyed interacting with you? Well, uh, we are of course lucky in many respects because of our proximity with the U.S. When I was a graduate student, of course I chose to study in, in America, in the U.S., because um, it's uh, the most important country and uh, it, the place where the best chemistry is being developed. So uh, it's like uh, 2,000 years ago, I think it was important to, to work and to live in Rome because uh, that was then the number one empire, the number one power in the world. So uh, in this regard, uh, I think that uh, we have uh, to take um, advantage of this uh, opportunity being so close and so that uh, some of our students can come to the U.S. and get their training and education. And then, of course, uh, some of them will come back to Mexico and develop some aspects of the chemistry they learn, the science they learn in the U.S. Uh, this is a particular case with me in, in the sense that I had opportunity to work with Professor Ernest Eliel. And so, um, as I mentioned before, coming back to Mexico and being able to contribute to the development of stereochemistry and conformational analysis in Mexico it reflects, of course, the, the chance, the opportunity that I had to interact and to learn from one of the founders of stereochemistry.